Welcome to the Divine Hangout. I'm your host, Hilary Jubilee. It is my intention that when you listen to this podcast, you experience an increase in peace, abundance, and divine miracles in your life experience. If you love all things spirituality, wellness, healing, manifestation, and miracles, you are in the exact right place at the exact right time. Let's enter the portal together. Hello and welcome back to the Divine Hangout. Oh, how sweet it is to be saying that those words. Um, if you're watching on YouTube, I may look a little different because I am currently breastfeeding my daughter. My daughter is just about two months old now. And yeah, so this is what it is. <laughs> um, I have not posted an episode in nine months and just uh, feeling pretty ill the first trimester of my pregnancy and then just not feeling productive and not feeling like I had enough energy to create or show up or whatever, just feeling quite lazy and yes. And yeah, so I think about you guys. Oh no, one second. Anyways. I may have to do little interruptions like that with, (laughs) um, I don't know how many of these episodes are going to just be me laying in bed breastfeeding, but that's my life right now. Um, anyways, I was saying, I think about you, whoever is listening, I love you. I think about my viewers, my listeners, and I think about creating on this podcast. I've thought about it pretty much every single day. It's my passion. I love it so much. I love talking about manifestation, um, creating reality is my passion, I just love, love, love it, um, I'm obsessed, and so I'm really happy to be back, uh, whether, even though it doesn't look like what it used to look like, there's no ring light right now, there's no makeup, there's no, like, shirt, (laughs) um, yeah, so, yeah, so that's just what it is, uh, but I'm happy and, you know, yeah, just super happy to be back. So I thought that this episode, okay, um, I would tell a manifestation story that I've been thinking about because there have been so many things that I've been wanting to make episodes on. What? Uh, that, yeah, so they've just been compiling up in my head. I don't know, like, I just haven't. I haven't made an episode in nine months and I have so many ideas. And so anyways, this is from my pregnancy, this story. Uh, It's a manifestation story. And yeah, so here it is. Uh, Basically, um, where I live on Vancouver Island, uh, the city that I live in, Victoria, um, there is a shortage. Now, those of you who are listening that are dialed in with Neville Goddard's concepts, Neville Goddard's teachings, manifestation, these types of things that I have normally talked about on my channel and on my podcast, um, you know that there is no lack and there's no shortage. And so obviously, you know, sometimes I forget that. I'm sure lots of people have that where they just like get caught in the in the human 3D world and forget our power. And so anyways, seeming shortage. So, and to paint a picture for you, my doctor, my family doctor told me that over 300 women at the time that I was just, just found out I was pregnant, over 300 women were without prenatal care. And basically the hospital, like the main hospital that does deliveries here, uh, did a pop-up of like just random doctors filling in. Okay. Yeah. So anyways, there's a pop-up at the hospital that has a, it's just sort of like, care like emergency not emergency but like everyone who doesn't have a midwife or a, an OB goes there so that they would just get like a random provider whoever's available it's my understanding that it's like a bunch of different OBs that are just like pulled from different offices that are like helping out to like fill in to try to try to you know make up for the shortage okay so I had myself on all of these wait lists I put myself on Waitlist for OBs and for midwives. Ooh. Anyways.
anyways, we've opened the blinds and we're done feeding, so we could continue the story, right, Aria? Uh, yeah, this is Aria, my daughter. Yes, hello, you want to be part of the podcast? Okay, you do that, girl. You do that, girl. Okay, okay, thank you for your contribution. Thank you. <laughs> Anyways, uh, yeah, so I was on the all these wait lists. I got accepted onto an OB, but I wanted a midwife because I was planning for a home birth. And um, OBs do not do home births. You have to birth in the hospital if you <laughs> if you want to um, uh, have an OB, then you got to be in the hospital. And I did not want to be in the hospital. So anyways, I was really wanting to get on with a midwife and I was had zero care. And then I did get on with an OB. I had a few appointments with the OB during my pregnancy and I was very unimpressed with their care. Don't need to get into it, but it was just always a different doctor and just, yeah, just very unimpressed with the care. And then I was like, okay, hey, I obviously need to switch over to a midwife as soon as possible, but seemingly everywhere was full. I would call every office in, in my area. I called one out, just outside of my area and they wouldn't take me because I was too far. Um, and it was just like a very frustrating situation, like hitting a bunch of walls. Um, kind of get a midwife for my birth and anyway this is right around when uh, joe and i went to australia which is my last episode i we were about to go and I haven't even yeah i haven't talked about that but anyways uh so we are in now we're in australia we go to australia and i kept seeing all these posts so in in australia is when i decided to actually like fully decide and manifest that i was going to have a midwife like i decided like I took two weeks off work, I wasn't working, and I was just enjoying a little town called Manly, just outside Sydney, Australia, um, and my partner, Joe, he was working, so I just had the days um, there to like explore the city and whatever, so I had time, and I was just like, okay, wait a minute, I forgot who I am, I, of course, I have a midwife, so I decided, and I like made a very like, like, aggressive decision that was like no I am going to get a midwife like I do have a midwife um and I decided to step into that like version of me like obviously Neville Goddard's teachings there's a lot of people teaching his his stuff and there's not too many more ways to say it other than like it's a lot of just saying the same thing over and over again but nevertheless the stories of manifestation I do like hearing other people's stories and I do like you know, telling mine because it's like, yeah, it's the same thing. It's like, just step into that version of yourself. Like it's so simple yet we still sometimes forget. So anyways, good reminder to hear other people's stories, whatever. Um, so yeah, I was like, I have a midwife. <laughs> like, I don't care how this happens. Like we don't need to know how I was just like, no, like I'm done and the other thing was like I was complaining like oh there's like so little there's such a shortage of, of providers and it's like this horrible situation it's so crazy and like complaining to people and stuff like zip it no more complaining no more wallowing no more in this old state of not having it full decision full just like walking into the version of me like I would literally like walk around Sydney and Manly and <laughs> um like I'm a pregnant person who has the care that I need <laughs> and that I want. Um, anyway, so that is like what I did. I just like went into the consciousness of already having it. And how it happened was um, I kept seeing like people, I was in all these Facebook groups and I kept seeing like, um, well, first of all, bless. Um, my massage therapist, who's also my friend, um, she had, was pregnant around the same time. She was due 10 days after me. And she told me that she got on with a midwife office, um, that I was on a wait list for. And I was like, what the heck? Like we're due around the same time. How are you getting on with them? And I am not. Um, so there was that. And then I saw somebody in a Facebook group, like in a, in a like mom's group for pregnant people, um, that they were choosing between two offices. Um, this particular one that I, my 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 massage therapist got on with, and then another one. And they're like, "Oh, which one should I go with? Go with? I'm choosing between them because I was offered a spot at both." And um, I was like, "What the heck? Like, how are these people getting offered all these spots, and I'm on these wait lists, and nobody's calling me?" Um, 
So I emailed that one particular office and was like, hey, like I saw that someone's choosing between spots and then this person who's due after me like got a spot and what's up with that? And like kind of like was like, uh, please, do you have a spot? Because I'd already um, been emailing with them a few months before. Oh, girl. Um, what is it? Yes. Um, and they told me they didn't have a room. So I kind of followed up and she emailed me back and she's like we might be able to get you a spot and then they ended up taking me so um yeah that was the like bridge of events that I did like kind of pester them but I had the evidence of all of these other people getting on with them so oh, girl. we need to tend to the girl anyways that is my story of manifesting um getting on with the midwife in a an extreme shortage in my um area uh and when I say it out loud it does sound kind of sound like well you emailed them so like did you really manifest that but that's this problem is still going on today like there's yeah like I said like a surplus of people like there's like a boom in pregnant people and huge shortage of care providers uh yeah not just OBs and midwives but like family doctors and all that stuff like it's a huge problem here so um yeah so it's still it's still a miracle even though I did pastor them um and then I want to make a, a, my birth story. So like, if you're not interested in birth, you don't need to listen to that. But like, I'm going to make an episode on my birth. Um, and I ended up, because when you get on with like a, a midwife, it's like a team. So there's four of them in my case. And then you don't know who's going to be at the birth. So I ended up manifesting the midwife that I wanted to be at the birth, um, which was awesome too. Um, so I'll tell that story in another episode. Um, and I also did a 10 day silent retreat, which I don't know if I ever, I might've mentioned it like a long time ago, like a lot of episodes ago, um, in one of the interview episodes that I did, um, that I wanted to do it. Uh, and so I did end up doing that when I was super, super pregnant. And so I do want to make an episode about that. It's called Vipassana. Um, so yeah, there's that. And yeah, a lot has happened in the last nine months, obviously. <laughs> um, yeah, so so glad to be back uh you know hopefully you enjoyed this episode and uh thank you for being here i love you so much and i'll see you in the next one okay bye